So this is something I didn't think I'd be talking about today. Elon Musk bought Twitter. Or he's buying Twitter. It's been accepted. Why? I don't know. I think people are just ready to get some money and get the hell out. <coughs> I think the current ownership and everything is just like, nah. Nah, brah. We're done. We're out. Uh, good luck. And uh, I'm not here to criticize uh, Musk. I'm not here to criticize him. I'm messing with sugar-free candy wrapper. Sorry. I'm not here to criticize uh, Musk. I'm here to talk about what it probably means for the platform. Um, as far as what it means for the platform, I'm not sure. Um, does it mean people will leave? I, I don't know. I, I mean, it could mean. it. Okay, so... I don't think I'm so unorganized in this. I haven't got my thoughts together on the things that I want to say about him buying Twitter. But basically, it depends on what he does with the platform. So far, he hasn't done anything that would make me want to leave. But he hasn't gotten full control yet. I think what will make a lot of people leave is just whatever he does with the platform. Uh, the one thing that I just don't want to see happen is Trump's account get reinstated. That's the only thing. If he reinstates Trump's account, wow, I'll probably be out of there. And I know a lot of people, uh, they don't want to believe me that I'm a moderate when I say, because I think a lot of people don't understand what a moderate is. They are mis, mis uh, how do I say this? They're mis, misinformed when it comes to what a moderate is. They think a moderate either is indifferent. They think a moderate is indifferent. They think a moderate uh, doesn't agree or disagree with anything. And that's not what a moderate is. A moderate is just somebody who agrees with one side on certain issues, disagrees on the other side, and vice versa. It's somebody who, like for instance, I, I, I feel like there's people that in this world who don't do enough to help the rest of society. I'll say that. Um, but I disagree when it comes to weird things like uh, gender, gender politics, usually. There's a lot about gender politics I don't agree with, and I won't go over specifics about that. But when I say I don't want Trump back there, back on Twitter, I usually am met with a lot of anger and a lot of hostility. I met with anger and hostility because as a moderate, they, I guess they expect me to want Trump there? No. I, I really don't want him there because of the, his influence. He influences people the wrong way. Okay, His word influenced a mob, a huge mob, to storm the Capitol. People died because of that. All because, twi all because uh, uh, Trump was allowed to sit there and say some horrible shit. He influenced people to take the capital, or to try and take it. <clears throat> he tried to get them to uh, overthrow the government at the time. And people died, and it was bad. And that was his influence, because he didn't get his way. He's bad about sitting there and saying something is the opposite of what it is. He's bad about lying and... Well, let's see. I, I guess I should give examples. Uh, like saying that he uh, the election was stolen. He said fought long before he lost that if he lost, it was because it was rigged. That's the only way you could lose is if it's rigged. He planted the seeds of doubt by saying that crap over and over and over again. So that when he finally uh, lost, he could say, see, I told you, if I lose, it's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged, I tell you. And he kept he kept going on and on and on. I remember tons of tweets where he said that uh, that uh, he uh, he was cheated and everything. And people, well, he kept saying that over and again. And Twitter had these disclaimers constantly saying it was refuted. He's like, no, he he lost fair and square. There's no widespread voter fraud. There's not. And he kept 
repeating this crap over and over again. There's no, why was I doing this? I don't know. He kept doing that over and over again, saying it was widespread voter fraud and he was cheated and yada, yada, yada. Clearly he wasn't, okay? Uh, there was no widespread voter fraud. One or two cases does not mean widespread, and it was looked into. Even he, even the even the uh, cyber ninjas or whatever the hell that group was called, I can't remember. The group that kept looking, re-going over the votes were like, they're not finding anything to the contrary. He lost legit. He legit lost. More people voted for Biden, which... For the love of God, Dem Democrats, do not put him up there again. He doesn't need to run for another term. I, f I feel like we need to put somebody else up there. Somebody needs to challenge Biden. Somebody else needs to run. We don't, we really, really, really don't need Biden to run again. The man is, there's a reason he's gotten the nickname Sleepy Joe. He looks like he's falling asleep all the time. He has trouble speaking. He should... <sighs> He shouldn't be president anymore. He he just he shouldn't. Um, but I don't think Trump should be president either. I think Trump is a loon. I think Trump is out of his mind. So I I have to give you examples. I have to tell you. Yes, uh, he he sat there and uh, at first he was against the uh, vaccines and mask mandates and shit, and he kept calling it the China virus and shit like that. A man that sits there and pulls this kind of crap should not be president. Let me, let me, let me, I wish I had clips of it, but there, if you ever watch him at his, uh, anywhere, anytime he speaks, he can't complete a sentence. He can't complete a thought. He runs thoughts together and doesn't finish them. He'll start to say something else and then say something else. He's just good at talking. That's it. <laughs> He's not a good at com and he's not that good at talking when he can't complete a thought. Trump, I got to tell you, going forward, you've got to start completing your thoughts. Just watch. I'm not even making fun of the guy. Just go watch anything he's done, anything he said. You will see him over and over again start to say one thing, and then it'll stutter, and it'll go into another thing. It's like you didn't finish the last thought. I I explain that last thought. Finish up that last thought. Then move on to the, he's too much, he's in too much of a, my father had this going on with him. And I kind of just did it. I kind of just did it. Kind of. That's kind of an example of what he would do. Is he would just not finish up his thought and then go right into another. My father, my father was like that though. Where he had so much to get out, so much that he wanted to say, that he wouldn't complete a thought. He wouldn't complete a sentence. He wouldn't complete a point. He wouldn't make the point first before moving on to something else. He would quickly want to talk about something else. This is something Trump's, Trump does, and it's very bizarre. And, man, it doesn't, it doesn't make him a bad person, but it's not good to not finish your thoughts. But he has lied like crazy. He has influenced some horrible things. So no, I don't think he belongs back on the platform. That would be probably the number one thing that would make me leave Twitter is if Musk reinstated Trump's account. If Trump came back, I would be out of there. Like I said, being a moderate doesn't mean I have to agree with everything on the Republican side of things, the conservative side of things. And it certainly doesn't mean that I have to agree with everything on the Democratic or uh, liberal side of things. I don't have to. I don't have to and I won't. Uh, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of what else Musk could do with the platform that would make me leave, and there's really not a whole lot. There's really not. Um, here's what he could do to improve the platform. Let me, let me, like I said, I'm not here to criticize the man, but I would like to hand him some ideas. The text limit is still too low. I can't, there's times where I'm trying to just complete a thought. I'm trying to say something that I have to say. And I always end up bumping into something. There's been times where I would make two separate tweets right after the other just to say maybe four more fucking words. Sorry for cursing. Saying four more freaking words to complete my to complete complete my paragraph, to complete what I had to say. I would have to make another post right after that. I'd, I'd have to label it one of one of two, two of two. I would have to do that. 
because there's just not enough. Even when the last time they increased the Twitter, uh, the the, the text uh, allowance for tweets, uh, it wasn't enough even then. <laughs> it's still not quite enough. I'm not saying we should let people say as much as they want to say in one go. I don't think that's a good idea, but I feel like it's woefully, woefully minimal. <laughs> it's too, it's too little. Not enough. Uh, he said something about add. You, you, he said something about adding an edit button. Yes, please, for the love of God, add an edit, please, for fuck's sake. Do you know how many times I'll I'll sit there and just delete a tweet because I I spelled some shit wrong or I I or I did a typo like crazy, like I typoed several words. Do you know how many times I've had to delete a tweet and just put up another one just to fix shit? Just so I don't look like an idiot? I goes I get especially on a phone. I don't always see what I'm putting and uh I'm used to looking at the text as it pops up, not where my thumb is going. And those I I don't have a very big phone, so I'm sitting there just trying my damnedest to get on each of the freaking um <coughs> just spell things out and it's usually on my phone that i mess up the most but i've messed up uh, on my computer as well so he's talked about adding an edit oh please for the love of god yes add an edit for fuck's sakes i would love that thank you please if you do that edit please <laughs> even if it's just an at like each and each time you edit it it extends the time just a little more before it's finally posted just to give you time to catch things i need time to catch things you know so add an edit uh what else oh yeah i want to be able to respond to a tweet but not allow others to respond to my tweet to that tweet does that make sense like there's one person who can make a tweet and another and they can block certain people from making responses responding to that tweet i would like a means to tweet to a tweet and not allow people to respond to the tweet because sometimes i just want to say what i want to say in response to that to the to the top tweet without having other people come in and just harass the hell out of me it's a problem with the platform there is a huge problem with the platform with this i don't care to get into arguments and fights and yada 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 with people who disagree with me i mean there was that time i think i did a video on it where I had people that were, um, <laughs> I had people that were, um, going at me because my wording wasn't very good. When, uh, Sean McLaughlin, Jacksepticeye, said, I have uh, ADHD, and, uh, and I didn't say I doubted him. Like, if I did, if I had doubted that he didn't have it, I would straight up say, no, you don't. You don't have it. No, you don't. And I didn't. I didn't do that. No, I was like, I was just, my response was a tweet of surprise. And people took it so much the wrong way. And even when I tried to correct these people and explain to them what I meant, they still didn't care. I still had people bombarding me and just being smart asses and jackasses. And oh my God, that is ridiculous. Like if I respond to this one person's tweet under their tweet and say, uh, I think that's why a lot of people quote tweet. I think that's why I see people quote tweets constantly. They quote tweets that way they can say who responds to their reaction. People don't want to directly respond to a tweet just to deal with tons of other people that just give them a hard time. Because if they quote the tweet, they can say who can respond to uh, the quote tweet. And so that way they can give their thoughts and not deal with a bunch of people. And I think that's why uh, they do. It's like, it's like I want people to be able to read what I had to say, but I don't want to hear it. I don't care. I don't want to be har to harassed. I feel it feels like an attack. Okay, to me, it's an attack when people one after the other, after the other, after the other is just going off on me because they misconstrued what I said because they t completely took it out of context or took it the wrong way, and they thought I was being an ass. I said I was shocked that he had ADHD because what I meant is he handles it so well. That was that was what I meant. So I, I've been over that. I'm pretty sure people have already seen that video. So moving on from that, um, 
what else can Musk do? Uh, there was something else that was right there in my brain and then it left. Oh, yeah. I want to turn off liked tweets. If I'm following somebody, I only want to see what they have to say. I don't want to see what they liked. Like, seriously, there's so many people that I follow on Twitter, and every time I turn around, I have a timeline that is flooded with what they liked. I, 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 I don't want to see what they liked. If I want to see what they liked, I, I, there should be a toggle. There should just be a toggle. There's toggles for other things. There's toggles for um, uh, retweets and quote tweets and things of that nature. There's a toggle for that. I want toggles, a toggle for liked comments. I don't really, no offense to the people that I follow on Twitter, but I don't always care about what you liked. I don't. I, I have other things that I want to see. I follow a lot of pixel artists. I follow a lot of artists, period. And a lot of their art gets drowned out because of liked this and liked that. Oh, they like this stupid tweet. They like that stupid tweet. They like this. I don't care. I don't care. I didn't, I didn't follow you because of that. I followed you because of you and what you directly have to say. I didn't follow you because I care about whatever thing with the dog. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to know what you have to say and what you're working on, what, you, what you're up to. That's all I want. I don't want to know what you liked. Oh my God, please, Mr. Musk. If there's one thing you could do for me, please. That would be the one of the one of the number one things. I don't care what people like. I I, I don't not not everyone. Let, let me back that up. There's some people that I do want to know what they like. I do want the tweets, but there's some people I'm like, I don't care about this. Why are you liking this? This is there's tons of this stuff you're liking, and I don't care. Usually it's political stuff. That's the other thing. Make it easier for me to block out all things political. If I don't want to care about politics, I shouldn't have it shoved down my throat. I shouldn't have to see anything about it. Okay, I shouldn't have to see politics. I there's times on there where I'm like, why is Twitter promoting this crap? A little there's a little pan on the side if you're on the actual website. If you're actually on Twitter.com or yeah, and you're on your computer, there's a pain a pan. I don't know what to call this over here. Headlines. And there's constantly political crap. And I'm like, I don't care about the political crap. Business crap, yes. I care about business crap. I care. I mean, the only reason I know that Musk bought Twitter is because it was right there in Twitter at the top. He bought it. I was like, alrighty then. Otherwise, I don't care about politics. I don't. I got. That's what. That's what got me in trouble before was all the politics. Most of the stuff I was responding to was political crap, and I just didn't care about it. I just. I was. It was. It's like I. Uh, I wouldn't respond. You know, there's a saying: out of sight, out of mind. There's stuff that is not out of my sight, so it's in my mind, and I don't want to feel the need to respond to it. If I could just block out certain topics. I would. And then there's the fact that Twitter itself keeps trying to recommend crap to me that I don't give a damn about. If I give a, gave a damn about it, I would search it out and I would follow it myself. I would I would follow this individuals myself. I would I would go myself, but they're sitting there suggesting all these topics and shit. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't care. I don't care and I don't want it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, I, I, I don't, I, I don't care, I don't care, and I don't want it. Twitter, stop suggesting crap to me, Twitter. I don't care, okay? I'm there for what I want to be, and would you be interested in the Major League Baseball? No, no, it falls under sports. At the very beginning, I, I, I click the little X. Yeah, they'll have this ton of labels going across the stream, uh, screen. And each one has an X by it. I sit there for almost an hour just going X, 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 X. Or with my mouse going X, 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 X. No, don't want that. I don't want any of this. Stop popping up. I don't want you here. Oh, my God. Facebook is guilty of this, too, by the way. They, they're they guilty of that. There's constantly people you may know. People you may know. You may know this people. You may know all these people that I don't know because I don't know anybody in Saudi Arabia. 
I don't know anyone from Saudi Arabia. For the love of God, Facebook, please stop. Please stop suggesting people I don't know. I don't know them. And it would be awkward if I just started following them. Same thing. I think Twitter does this too. Here's this person, this person. You might want to follow this person. It's always off to the side. I'm like, I don't know them. I don't want to follow them. I don't know who they are. Why are you doing this to me? I don't care. What makes you think I care about this person? I don't know who they are. Everybody that I follow on Twitter is somebody that I know of outside of Twitter. I either know them outside of Twitter or I met them somewhere else. I've seen them somewhere else and I went to Twitter and I followed them. In fact, that's what got me on Twitter is just following people that I liked. I, I went on Twitter because because uh, Richard Masucci was on uh, Twitter. That's why I went to Twitter. It's like, oh, Richard Masucci's on Twitter. I'll follow Richard Masucci. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Please forgive me, Rich, if I'm not saying your name correctly. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I am. Um, you know, I went there and I was like, oh, hey, Jacksepticeye's on here. I'm going to follow Jacksepticeye. I love Jacksepticeye. I love Markiplier. I love Gab Smolers. Gab Smolers. I love, I love all these folks that I'm following. I know them and I've seen them elsewhere. So I'm following them on Twitter. Okay? So this whole thing where, <clears throat> where they're just... Like, hey, here's this person. And you're like, who is this? I don't know this. No, I'm not following them. Quit showing. Quit showing me this crap. Twitter bombards you with crap that doesn't matter. To me, anyways. It's, it's always something that doesn't matter to me. That, doesn't, that I don't care to see. And if there was anything I would hope that Mr. Musk you can do about, it's that kind of crap. I think, I think Twitter would be a better place... If you didn't have to deal with certain people. And it's really hard. It's really hard. And then there's people you just want to click and block. You just want to block them right there. But you really don't want to see them to begin with. Like I could avoid a lot of crap. If I could just. If I could just post a tweet. To a tweet. And just say nobody responds to my tweet. Because all I am doing is responding directly. Nobody but the top person. So Mr. Musk. Say I make a comp. You make a, a tweet. And I respond to that tweet. The only one I want responding back is you. That's it. And that's that's basically the, the, the idea. The idea is almost like a two-way com two way conversation. That's it. Oh, you said something. Well, here's my, uh, here's my feedback. Here's my thoughts. Okay. And then you might respond back because you don't have to respond back. But I can tell other people don't respond. I don't want to hear any of you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you. But that's why so many people quote tweet. It's like, I want to respond to this person, but I don't want to deal with these people. And uh, maybe that's why I, that's what I'll start doing. I'll start doing that on Twitter. On uh, Twitter, It's no wonder that Review Tech USA does this. I've seen Richard Masucci do this. He quote tweets a lot of things and responds that way. And I don't blame him. I would respond that way too. I should start responding that way. That would help, but... Yeah, so those are basically my ideas for Twitter. If you if you're if you're uh, if you're willing to incorporate any of those ideas, Mister Mister Musk, it would be also would be nicer if I could hone in hone in on the kind of advertising I want because I keep getting advertisement for things I don't care about. To be fair, there's a lot of accounts that I'm already following, so they don't have a hard time advertising to me. So, like, I like video games, and I follow Square Enix. I, I, they don't have to advertise to, to me and pay for the advertisement because the advertisement's already going on right there. They can retweet an ad, and I'll be like, ah, oh, okay. You know, uh, video game companies, the things that they put up, I'm very much into video games and technology. I want to see what AMD has to say. I want to see what NVIDIA has to say. I want to see what Nintendo has to say. I want to see what Sega has to say. I want to see what Microsoft, Sony, blah, 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 blah. You see, you get the point that I'm saying here. There's only certain things that I want advertised to me, but I will constantly see stuff that doesn't matter to me, and I'm having to block it. Yeah, I literally block a lot of crap in a day that's being advertised to me because it shouldn't be advertised to me. It's nothing that I'll ever buy. It's nothing I'll ever purchase. It's nothing that, it, that that concerns me. But Twitter has a habit of doing this. It's like, I don't mind advertisements, but 
Why are you advertising me this Lamborghini ad? I don't care about Lamborghinis. I don't care really about vehicles. For the most part. Because I can't afford it, by the way. That's why. It's because I can't afford it. If there's stuff I can't afford, I don't want it advertised to me. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. 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 All right. I think I'm done. I think I've gotten it all out. Uh... Inherently, I don't think Musk owning Twitter is a bad thing. But it will depend on what he does with the platform. Like I said, there was only one thing that would make me leave the platform. I'd probably leave. And that's if Trump came back. If Trump came back, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm out. You know. You know, the hell of it is I still vote Republican sometimes. It just depends on their views. That's the kind of voter I am. I'm not the kind of voter who votes based on party affiliation. There's a lot of people that are staunch Republicans. They will vote Republican every time. Even if the views of those said, of said Republican are terrible views, they'll still vote for them. I, I don't. I vote for people who I think even have an integrity. If I think they have some integrity, I will vote for them. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't always vote Democrat. I mean, even around here, we have local uh, elections that have to do with local officials. I don't always vote Democrat. I vote Republican sometimes, okay? Because that's that's what it means to be a moderate. When you're a moderate, it's really just being, I don't want a party affiliation, really. I want to vote on people, and I want to vote on things based on who they are as a person. I don't care about the rest of this. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So anybody who wants to come at me and attack me because they think that... Uh, I'm some kind of a Republican hater. No, no. I mean, I voted. I, 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 I wanted to vote for McCain at one point. I ended up voting for the other guy, but I wanted to vote for McCain. And I still kind of feel like maybe I made a mistake on that guy, but uh, I don't know. This video has been all over the place, and I apologize. Thank you so much for wa watching. And uh, if you liked what I had to say or whatever... Hit the like button. Kick it. Kick the kick that like button really hard. No, actually, don't kick it. You don't want to kick your monitor. You will mess up your monitor. Like, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll try and post stuff as often as I can until I get Starlink. Once I get Starlink, I'm gonna be just doing tons of videos. As I said, this was not to criticize Musk. This was more uh, more to give some feedback. I don't know if he'll see it. Maybe not. That's fine. That's fine if he doesn't see it. But those are my ideas. Those are the things that I would like to see done. I'm out.